All right, I'm out here at a, just another one of the local parks. This is a big field here. I haven't hunted this a whole lot. A few times, just here and there. Never found any silver in here. I don't know why there's silver in other parts, but who knows? The trees are look old enough and just never have. Anyway, metal detector Matt wanted to uh, wanted me to do a video with the E-Track, so I'm gonna do one for him today. What I'm gonna do today is do something different. I'm gonna go through here with the E-Track and I have it, if you can see that, I have it set up with a lot of discrimination. So I'm just gonna go through here and I'm not gonna edit out anything. I'm gonna dig some targets and just show you exactly how it is. Some of my dig I'm sure will be, you know, borderline trash zone too, but I just want to kind of give people an idea what it's what it's really like. I'm I'm not going to edit out anything. Whatever I find, I find, and just to kind of give you an idea how it really is. Now this heat track, it's probably considered more of a high-end machine. It's got good depth, good discrimination. So, you know, even with this one, I'm sure I'll be digging, you know, some trash like we always do. But all right, let's go. All right, first signal. Here's something that's falling in the nickel nickel range anyway. <laughs> A little bit deeper, maybe. No. Not a bad start. There's the first target. It is in fact a nickel. See coin whisper? That's why you dig these nickel signals. Here's one that I can I can barely get, if hardly at all. It looks like it's super deep. Open the screen wide open. And it could be deep iron, but I mean, I can barely even get this, so, but I'm going to dig it out anyway. This was either real deep or real small, so I'm going to cut, I'm going to assume it was deep, I'm going to cut a bigger plug at first. Try to go down like eight inches on the very first, first plug. When I bring it out, there you go. That's a real deep plug. That'll help me. I'm going to go a little bit more. Just hope it is deep. And I ain't chasing something on the surface. Possibly over here. Seems like I'm getting a hit. A little bit. It's deep so far. So I'm getting a hit way off in the sidewall. Probably iron. Usually if it's way off like that, it's usually iron. All right, there you go. Big old screw at about 10 inches. Them are fun. Here's a shallow 1139. Usually this is about screw cap range. gravelly under there. A little deeper than, it, than I thought. And that's what it was, just a, 
a, a ham's lid. I have another one trying to get in the nickel, my little nickel notch. I don't think this was too too deep, maybe four inches or so. A round, uh, looks like part of a tab. Next signal is a nickel type signal. This was the nickel signal. And I can see it's a nickel already. All right, the bottom of my, so we can bring this up. As I lift my trowel out. See it's right there. So there's a nickel. Three nickel signals in a row. This one seems like a little deeper. Not hitting as good. Let's see what we got here. is deeper I'm probably at about the six inch range digging down a little bit deeper but probably probably close so I mean I could hit it with a pin pointer only goes a couple inches probably so if I got it turned on oh there it is somehow it fell out of the somehow it fell out of the must have been stuck to my uh, shovel bent beaver tail Here's a 43, usually copper penny, possibly dime. This one, was, this one pinpointed a lot bigger, so it seemed almost a little bit too big for a dime. It possibly a piece of a can or junk, we'll see. Just pinpointed a little bit too big. Unless there was garbage around it, okay. What do you call these things? Grommets or whatever? That's that's what that is. It's about the size of a nickel. Let's see if there's anything else in the plug though. We'll I'll check it with the detector. Here's the next one. Cutting out, I mean, almost like. Not giving me a real good signal. This is kind of a weird signal, too, um, but it's right by that last grommet thing I found, so hopefully it ain't his brother or the rest of the family. Okay, there's some rusty wire that could have been false on that, but we'll check the whole. I can see the rust right there. Uh oh. Knocked it out of the hole. But there is a, a copper penny. Uh, the copper penny is obviously above the rusty wire, but it, it may have had some effect on the signal because it wasn't 
hitting real strong. It's kind of cutting in and out. Let's see what else we got. A little bit of a hit. Might be part of that rusty wire still. I see more rust. Yeah, it is. I see more rust in the hole. So I'll recheck it, but that was it. A penny and a little piece of rusty wire. Here's one hitting lower than like a zinc penny would, usually square tab zone or possibly Indian head. But it seems like a little too shallow for out here, but we'll try it. I haven't found too many good things in the 32, 33 zone. Not the places I hunt anyway. I mean, usually trashy parks, usually square, square tabs. It could be other things. A little bit too deep on that one. It's hard not to with this thing. In this, in this case, without really, looks like a bent up part of a bent up pull tab, or maybe a piece of a bent up square tab, some kind of aluminum. Got another signal here, hitting a little bit lower than a zinc, but a. Uh, now, crusty zinc pennies will come in a little lower. Let's see what we got here. Uh, smashed up worm. Hey, that's why. See, I don't know if you can see that. I thought, right, right there. That looks exactly like the coin. See that? It's got the. See if it'll focus. It's got the impression of the coin and everything. It looks exactly like it. I guess that's where it was laying. <laughs> it's pretty weird. But the coin is. Sure enough, it looks, looks like a, almost just like a copper penny. Let me run it over the coil. I mean, a copper penny shouldn't hit that, that low. Okay, see, that's hitting at a 43. So, makes me think there's another target down there with it. Could be wrong, but I mean, usually a, the ID is not going to be off that bad. Yeah, there you go. In the plug. Now this is probably the zinc penny. There you go. I believe that's a zinc penny. I'll run it under the coil. It looks like it's starting to corrode. So that's the second coin in that plug. We can run it under the coil. Yeah, now see this one comes in at a 35, so there was a copper penny and a zinc penny in that same plug, or real close anyway. Got one in the copper penny range, seems a little deeper. I like that, but then again I found some 9 inch uh, copper pennies out here too, so. Kind of a little low. It almost looks a little too low to be copper and too high to be a screw cap. But I know as the coins get deeper, the ID degrades a little bit. We'll see. Let's see what we got. Showed a little deeper, so I'll take about a six, seven inch plug. Start with. I don't want to find it in the plug. Okay, eh, 
as long as I ain't missing it in the plug, it's probably a good sign. Then it's a little deeper. Either that or I missed the pinpoint. off to the side just a little bit. It's down there still. Nope. Keep going. Okay, I almost got the entire uh, probe in the hole. Where? So see it's however, however deep that is, nine inches already. Oh man. What is that? That's alright though. It's looks like it's part of an old buckle. That was pretty deep. I mean it was at least probably nine inch range. Got another one here. Almost seems like a lot bigger target. This one seems a little bigger. Seems like a pinpoint it pinpoint it pretty big. What is that? That's a root. Still got the shine. I guess I didn't even need a plug, but uh, I'm gonna recheck it again, make sure there's nothing else in the area. Just a zinc penny. I just got that zinc penny right there, right at the edge of the coil. So, if I remember, I said it pinpointed real big. Watch when I hit my pinpoint button. I think I was getting on whatever this discriminated thing out over here is, so that's why it seemed like it was a lot bigger. And this one's kind of weird. They're, they're hitting 43. Seems like a little bit deeper. I don't know why it had a 46 in there one time. Maybe just, who knows? Trash or something. Oh, there's some rust. That could have been the 46. Okay, all right, here's some rust, a rusty item of some kind. A lot of rust. Oh, check it out. I don't know if you can see it. There's a scraped away all that rust from right there, and there's a coin right there. See it? And look, I don't know if you can see them in the camera, but there's some rusty flakes right there, right on the coin. That's probably why that odd number, I don't know if it showed on the camera, but it hit it at a 46 once, a couple times, but there you go, a penny with some rust. Here's a shallow one, we'll dig it out. This wasn't too deep, I don't think. I think too big a plug. Pepsi. 
got a 36 here. Shallow. It shouldn't be very deep either. Probably works better if I turn it on. That was a zinc penny. Finally got another nickel signal. Seemed like I started out with three in a row, then nothing. Oh man, that's soft. I like that. Real soft ground. Butter. Got into an ant's nest. Today. The signal isn't real good for as shallow as it is. Really not expecting a nickel on this one. can slow. Another one in the nickel area. Got a little bit of depth on it. I've seen it as I moved it. It is a nickel. It looks like it's been down there a long time. Got another one in the nickel area. Oh, it's another nickel. I mean, that that's that's pretty good for out here. Normally, there's the ratio is a hundred beaver tails to a couple nickels, but I'm doing pretty good on the nickels today. Another old one, been down there a little bit. Here's one hitting a little lower. I didn't think it was too deep. Somehow I was off on the pinpoint a little bit. Not bad, but just a little bit. Hold on. Get this guy out of the way before he gets smashed. Hold on. Remember, this is real. I ain't, ain't editing nothing. I had to kill that phone call. Okay. There it is. All that work for a crusty zinc penny. But there it is. All right, we'll check out this 1246, 1247.
no kind of a shallower plug here. So, I thought it was some rusty item, but because I've seen that orange looking quarter, but there is a quarter. Let's see if there's anything else in there. Here's one looks like a right, a real shallow, maybe surface pine. It's probably gonna be real shallow, I would think. Another nickel signal. Yeah, it's a nickel. You know, I'm I'm doing real good on the nickels today. Normally, normally I really do dig a ton of pool tabs as opposed to nickels, but. Maybe this other area I'm trying this just ain't been hit as hard, but there's another nickel. Got another shallow nickel signal just a couple feet away from the last one. That's when he hit near as good. Just never know. another one I thought that one was hitting a little bit too low to be a nickel I really wasn't even expecting another one to tell you the truth just right over from that last nickel I got another one another signal now this one looks like a good classic nickel signal now see Vic watch this look at this signal this is what you need to be digging right here Now that I said that to tease Vic, this will probably be the biggest, ugliest pull tab ever. He says he don't find too many nickels. So far, it's in there. That's funny. It's giving you a hard time and big old chunk of aluminum. So take note, don't dig that signal. Could have another quarter here. Oh, is it gonna be shallow maybe? Shouldn't be too deep. It was hitting pretty strong. Yeah, there's a quarter. A lot of people ask me about this digger, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and say something now. Um, it's called a it's a Predator Raptor Model 31. I got it from PredatorTools.com. Um, 
they're awesome diggers. I don't really know anybody from that company, but it, and they're not, they didn't pay me to say anything either. I wish the guy would give me a cut of all the ones I've probably sold for him. But anyway, I broke this one time and he, they stood behind it. They, uh, they sent me a new one out, no questions asked. So Predator Raptor Model 31 from PredatorTools.com. I want to make this my last dig. Um, I got uh, something in the nickel range here. After giving Vic a hard time, I'll probably never dig another nickel today anyway, so I might as well hang it up, right? All right, here we go. Oh, maybe not. Solid gravel. But you know I gotta dig it somehow. Could be a gold ring. Maybe I might dig it. Probably chiseling out the rocks for a pull tab. Ah, still down there. Let me get this little gasket scraper out. Hit. It works pretty good to get about. Not really digging, just getting in between the rocks and moving them around. A little bit more. Come on. So I don't want to be digging eight inches for a full tail. Maybe the gravel will end. Yeah, there you go. Just got, got through it. It's deep. Whatever it is, it's a deep one. Gravel makes me wonder though. Looks like it's still down there. Nickel or not, it's almost too deep, too deep now. It could be, but whatever it is, it's probably ruined now. All, right. All the rocks down there. This ain't good. I said I wasn't going to cut out any of the trash digs. Nothing else, I'll just give up first. Is that it? It looked like, it looked like something metal. be a 10 minute dig. But, but this is how it is sometimes. I'm getting closer. Should be on about 10 inches down there at least. Not expecting a nickel now, that's for sure. Okay, I rescued the 10 inch can slaw. That was my last dig. Okay, Matt, there was your e-track video. Sorry, I didn't get any silver or any anything even decent, but 
you know, I just want to show the people it's not always just gold rings and silver coins. And for me, the places I hunt have been they've been hit a lot. So just even come up one silver coins is pretty good sometimes. So, but that's it. Thanks for watching. Here's some of the finds from the day. All the trash over here on this side and the better stuff over here. This this old key is cool looking. Let me see if it'll focus. Haven't seen one like that before. I'm, I'm assuming it's old. I'll try to clean it up and see what it kind it is. And um, this old buckle. You see me dig that? That was pretty deep. This is a weight. It's like a weight they used to put in. Someone told me the hymns, dresses, or curtains or something. It was down there probably 13, you know, 12 or 13 inches. I found it with the CZ 3D. There's the nickels and just other coins, a couple quarters. I did find a silver nickel too with the with the V3I. I used a couple different detectors today, but most of this stuff was probably dug with the E-Track. 